You can tell by the length of this video, it's gonna be fucking hell to voice. But, here we go. What's going on? Sejuani, one of the most uh, do, controversial champions in the game. Why? Because if you dare call her crap, people will get on your ass. If you dare call her, you know, flawed, people will say, no, it's not true. People just don't agree on her. Despite the fact there's a lot of evidence to the contrary that she kind of does suck. But I'll explain that right now. So, as far as runes and masters go, I believe my reds were kind of fucked up reds. I think they were uh, magic pen, and I should have probably taken attack speed. Armor yellow, cooldown reduction blues, and cooldown reduction quints. So I can get my ultimate and all my goody abilities right away. If there's one problem that Sejuani has is her abilities suck ass at early levels because they have too much hot. They need to be spammed in order for them to actually do anything, especially when it comes to clearing. And they have a high ass cooldown. It's like, yeah, so you might as well do what it takes to try to lower it. So don't go and gank the Orianna. I go. I don't commit to it because I, you know, I thought Ringer was coming in here. Well, then I turn around because I. He came a little bit later, and then, oh, shit, he actually did come up. So that was me re having some poor judgment here. And the twist of fate kind of also putting himself a little bit too close to the bush, but it was mostly my fault. Anyways, so what's Sejuani's problems? For starters, you can see, the jingle's kicking my ass. Even other jungle tanks like Nautilus and everything can actually survive the goddamn jungle without dying. So, crappy sustain is one. Oh yeah, my masteries are, I believe, 4, 9, uh, not, no, 4, 21, no, 4, 21, 3, and I forgot where I put the last two points. Anyways, other tanks can actually survive things. Other other tanks don't have to jerry-rig their uh, summoner, uh, their masteries and uh, runes prior to the game in order to actually survive the jungle. I mean, actually do properly. And... For all, in all honesty, her tanking capabilities are way subpar compared to other junglers, and that's just being straight honest. And I like any kind. I like playing almost any tank, even Sejuani in some cases. I try to justify her in this game because the enemy team lacks mobility, and I thought, oh, maybe I'd be able to slow them down and annihilate them. But no, you'll see. The game is 25, well, the game is 24 minutes long for a goddamn reason, or at least, I mean, the upload. The game itself is like an hour, so... Strap on, I hope you got some, like, uh, popcorn or drinks while watching this, because it's going to be hellish. So, I can't really say much of what's going on. Both teams are kind of floundering for the early game. Uh, Xin Zhao keeps dying, or getting his ass kicked by Timo. Like, he, he, whenever I looked at him, he's like, oh man, you're almost dead. And so, you constantly have to try to go up here. He's like, why are you fighting him before I even got close? It's like, I just kind of threw my ultimate, you know, in a kind of a... Uh, Hail Mary kind of thing. It's like, fuck it. I am I gotta kill him before he kills my Xin Zhao teammate. Xin Zhao still unfortunately died. So it's like, you bastard. You should have waited for me. But whatever. We got a little too impatient. Oh yeah. Somebody asked yesterday, Stonewall, do you use pings? Of course I use pings. What the hell do you think some of those pings are? It just doesn't say who's pinging in low replay. And sometimes it doesn't even catch all the pings. So anyways... Like, Sejuani, one of her biggest problems is her initiation, aside from her ultimate, is absolutely dreadful. Yeah, her ultimate is arguably one of the best forms of initiation in the game. Her follow-up is what's ass. Yeah, you can throw your ultimate in, you can use your E, but if you're, like, from far away, if, uh, really far away, it won't hit everybody. So you have to use your Q to get ram the first person you get in there, but since your, uh, your ultimate will likely have hit some uh, random target and then blast it on the AoE and maybe you've got the AD carry, you'll probably collide with some other random person. Or, at the very least, or at the very least, you'll get use it for, to get in range so you can actually use your E. And then afterwards, you're going to flail around with your W and then get knocked back. Okay, that's kind of it. Other characters, Malphite, ult in, slam somebody. Like, no one can stop your ultimate in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's things like walls and Janna's ultimate that can stop it. But, I mean, like, once you slam somebody, like, you're already in their face. So, you can press your E, press your Q, and just be a menace. Same thing with Zack. Yeah, even Nautilus can technically do that. It's slow enough that it allows you to reposition yourself properly. And then your Q actually drags a person to you and whatever you can face up. I hope you kind of understand what I mean. 
There I can kind of die because we overestimated our chances of actually killing Sejuani before the enemy team retaliated. So that was just pretty much just piss poor judgment. Of course, what fun would it be to show you a, a game where I, my team just gets absolutely demolished. And I'm not shit talking them like that's that game. Just watch. The early game is the enemy teams. We're getting outplayed, and there's really not much interesting to say. It's just we're making a lot of mistakes. I'm getting overzealous, and I definitely don't have the tankiness to deal with them yet. Uh, my top lane is in Zhao. It's pretty much got countered by Teemo, and he keeps trying to fight the goddamn Teemo for some goddamn reason. Though, fortunately, I catch myself a free kill here because Teemo decided to stick around a little too long. As far as uh, what Sejuani does right, her initiation is great. I already went over that. Her damage late game, well, her damage is actually pretty high uh, for a tank. Uh, of course, dealing that damage has always been a problem with her, even after her remake, so. A rework. Or re envisioning, or whatever you want to fucking call it. By the way, this is the part where we start taking back, you know, the hood or whatever. Uh. Rengar jumps in, we, uh, Zin Zhao was bottom two, and we pretty much were able to kill uh, the, both of them. My teammates run away, we secure bottom lane, and now we're forced to go home. But at least this uh, that this gives us a shutdown goal from two champions. Uh, anyways, I was saying. Sejrani's other great thing is honestly her control. If she's able to actually slow somebody, she'll pin them down and sort of perma slow them. Weaker than old Skarners for sure, but it's still something. Something for a true tank that yeah, they don't have. Like Nautilus, he gets to do his full combo and then they kind of walk away a little. And he can't really do much until his cooldowns come back. Sejrani, she can spam it up in succession enough to pretty much... Uh, make them go into a crawl. Once again, Rengar jumps right in, and he's going to become a massive medicine. This is after his rework. But I throw my ultimate in as they try to run away, and this is pretty much able to melt them. I'm going right after the Kaelin slowly but surely. I flash forward, use my E, and then bash her brains in. And the enemy, Oriana, also gets picked off. This pretty much restores us back into the game, but holy crap, is it, you can tell this game is going to last forever. So this little lead we have isn't going to stay. As far as what Sejuani does bad, I already mentioned a few of them. Her jungle sustain is completely garbage, even with the Spirit Stone early on. Later on, it doesn't matter, but at that point, nobody really has problems with the jungle. Her dueling is atrocious. Everybody, almost everybody, actually can kill you in the jungle. Holy crap, just run the fuck away. If you see an enemy as Lee Sin, you're pretty much dead. If you see a Darius, you're gonna die. If you see a Nudir, just pray to God that he's a merciful one. Alright, here we initiate on Rihanna and pretty much kill her before she gets off her ultimate. Though, she would have only gotten me and Leona, so it wouldn't have been much a big deal. Then here, the fight is completely scattered and weird, but we managed to kill Rengar, chase after Thresh, and make sure he dies too. Nidalee is going to be Nidalee, and she's going to scamper off to survive. Though, well, not Nidalee, wait, it's Caitlyn. They're both annoying bitches anyway, so. Caitlyn survives. Oh no, she tower dives and... No, that's team of fuck, and they look the same. Man, this game is actually like a two two weeks old, so I'm not really paying much attention to or remembering what it was. Anyhow, other bad stuff about uh, Sejuani. Fucking cooldowns are unreasonable. But, like, I, I guess if you gave her stronger cooldowns, she'd be overpowered. So, here I got caught a dragon, so I'm just going to die. Luckily, I, uh, Oriana used her ultimate for some reason, even though they probably would have killed me without it. Alright. Sejuani's cooldowns are unreasonable, though, to be honest, if... Uh, if she had good cooldowns, she might be a little too overpowered, especially on her ultimate. Her ultimate has obscene cooldown, but it's much like a Moomoo kind of thing. You wouldn't want to give a Moomoo lower cooldown now, would you? Let's see. What other corrupt she has. Her abilities are all fucking melee, or at least uh, need to be me can only really be activated through melee. Like, yeah, her E has some range on it, and her ultimate is a range thingy. But if you want to hit that right there, that's the problem. You can see it right there with the team. It was like, fucking line of sight jukes. The fact that it's melee, and the fact that it has kind of an animation swing to it, it's like, huh, huh, chuck it. They can actually avoid the goddamn thing by moving faster than you. It's like, you can't activate your slow without either ramming them with your Q, which in turn makes some of the follow-up uh, follow combos uh, inaccessible. Or, you know, screws you out of a gap closing when you actually need it. 
or you know you have to actually somehow manage to hit them with another tag which is not exactly easy with without burning your long as as uh, q i actually think they should lower the power of her q and just lower its cooldown significantly or at least give her the gragas treatment you know hit something lower its cooldown because damn you need that shit a lot and you're oftentimes forced to up, uh, rank it up to lower its cooldown. I would prefer to rank up E because it does more damage and it, rank, uh, it does more damage and it gives you a better slow. Yeah, Q does that kind of percentage damage, but who gives a shit about that at this point? So, yeah, fight is pretty fucking slow. There's really nothing going on here. I shoot the worst shitty fucking ult I've, I've had this entire game, and luckily the enemies. Uh, decides to retreat instead of actually fight back, which leads to them losing this fight. Honestly, if they just turned around and fought, they might have been able to kill us. We lost our fucking... Uh, oh, that's a gold card. It's blue card, Reggie, but it didn't matter. He hit hit his he hit both his spells and he managed to kill Caitlyn. But anyways, they really could have turned that around and probably killed a few of us. And maybe they would have still died, sure, but they wouldn't have died as one-sidedly. That's kind of them just being afraid. The second they saw me screw up my ultimate, that should have been their, uh, their, the sign to turn around. Anyways, yes, Rylice, I mean, I'm not building with Rylice. Sunfire Cape, uh, uh, Locket of the Iron Solari, and the No Magic Mantle, no, 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 no Magic Mantle, uh, Negatron Cloak. There we go, I finally remember its name. Though, yeah, I'm building myself tanky resistances and utility because honestly, I haven't been shining this game. I, I got a lot of assists, and that's kind of what I'm gonna be burdened at. Here, Kaylin just kind of face checks. She pretty much shouldn't have done that. And now we're able to push down top with Zin Zhao and them. Honestly, my team comp is absolutely dreadful to deal with the enemy teams. Timo alone will fucking wreck us. And I thought, you know, Timo would be an easy gank for me, but then my teammate picks Zin Zhao. And yeah, I think uh, my team was Ezreal, the enemy team went Thresh, Rengar, then Zin Zhao, and then Teemo. So the Zin Zhao pick just kind of got countered by Teemo a lot. And I thought maybe I could still gank him as Sejuani and they wouldn't matter to the po uh, to anything. But early game, Zin Zhao kept trying to go aggro and got himself killed. And at that point, no one can help him. Here, I don't know what the hell my team is doing. We should just kind of run away. But the Ezreal, once again, goes gung-ho. He will be trying to go gung-ho a lot. He will be Icarus, flying too close to the sun, and the wax will burn off his wings. But, anyways. This is Ronnie. I, I will piss off a lot of you by saying when it comes to ranking all the jungle tanks, she, goes, she will probably rank in the lowest in terms of actually being useful. Or good. Like in the jungle tier list, she is not she's not the lowest because honestly she's got you know the initiation which saves her fucking ass. And she can uh, by that nature, having that awesome initiation for AoE team comms and the damage uh, following it up makes her kind of a lot better than others in fitting some team comps. But when it comes to actually functioning as a tank, she's pretty dumb. It's like I hate I hate just how gimpy she is. I mean, I give her credit for the fact that she can do certain things and that she's got a hope in her. I mean, she's got a hope. She's pretty... I have hope for her actually working out if they tweaked her a little bit. The other jungle tanks, they're kind of limited in what they do. Malphite, ult, impress, heat, and that's kind of all he does. He doesn't have any peeling. He doesn't have any, like, actual crowd control out of the ultimate. So Giovanni at least has, you know more spammable crowd control and can peel and shit. Malphite can't, so that's why he loses out, though he is arguably a better kind of uh, functioning tank. And a better jungle, for sure. But, I don't know, I digress. I, I still don't like Sejuani. Just, she's kind of like... Well, better rephrase what I meant. She's not the worst, quote-unquote, tank. She's probably the least... Uh, the, the worst one to try to even justify picking. I honestly cannot find any justification to pick her outside from AoE team comps that are like massive insta burst kind of thing. Though in the same in the, in the same sense, you probably you could also pick Malphite into that or uh, Malphite or a Moo Moo. So it's like you're kind of forcing this Johnny pick even in AoE team comps. And oh, and here that was in a, this is 
the turning point. We get fucking nailed by the, uh, the Oriana Ultimate. I mean, we kill Rengar, but we also land on a goddamn team of Mushroom, and our, the, my team just kind of gets annihilated. It's like, holy crap, kudos to this to Oriana for, you know, pretty much dump, dumpstering us with that Ultimate. Uh, 24... <laughs> 24 minutes, look at that, it's 10 minutes left, it's a long fucking game, how do you think it felt when I was playing though, it's like, Jesus Christ, this game, I, please be over already, please let's not screw up, please let's push to the win, however, Icarus keeps trying to do plays and instead of playing it safe, and Timo, my god, he's fed a lot, sure, he's a detriment to the team early on, and he probably put them in this situation, but his mushrooms are keeping him into the game, here, I could have probably survived if I burned my flash and used my EQ to go over. But I was kind of uh, <clears throat> selfish and didn't want to burn my ultimate or my flash. Nonetheless, as to why I've been doing what I've been doing in this game, a lot of it has been kind of uh, desperation at this point. Like, early game, we lost it hard. And then the other ones, it's just like, I got a reactor. I got to take make plays. And they worked out. But making plays won't work anymore. You'll see, I'll be trying to make some of them. But holy crap, Timo is just a fucking monster now. Hit one shroom and my team just kind of almost dies. Like, we're gonna, we're starting to all to buy red trinkets. Well, I am, and we're gonna, we're starting to tell my teammates to buy red trinkets. Since I gets pulled, nothing comes of it. Leona initiates on Ariana. And then we in comes all the initiations and we instantly kill her. Then Rengar is gonna jump on the is Ezreal. Or wants to jump on him. Yeah, where wait, actually where is he? Where the fuck is he? Yeah, no. He jumps in on us, we hit a mushroom. I get just killed by the poison so this twisted fate. Since I gets killed by another mushroom because twisted fate hit it. And then Rengar annihilates Ezreal. It's just Fucking mushrooms, they're going to be the head death of us. And they are the reason Purple Team hasn't lost yet. And now they are able to push down in tower and an inhibitor. My god, this is just a fucking pain in the ass. You can see I bought Abyssal Scepter as well. And, like, my team doesn't really have magic. But I'm hoping that I can deal some more damage and probably kill... Timo or Oriana before hell breaks loose. I'm going to come regret this purchase, though. You'll see. I'm not going to actually get to use it to its full extent. We're waiting for Baron, and we're trying to push out a little. Baron's about to pop up soon. We're going to push top of the tower. We want to get this inhibitor and then go for Baron. But, of course, that it turns out not to be the smartest idea. I get the red trinket, and my teammates still don't actually buy it. I use my initiation, and then nothing really comes of it. So now we can really... Oriana, by the way, tried to initiate too. She flashed forward and then she realized, okay, my balls are in the back. And it's like, yeah. So this game is just full of fuck. I tried to initiate there most because I saw an opening and tried to get the Oriana before the rest of the team collapsed on us. Leona gets a good ultimate, but we really can't initiate. We hit several mushrooms on the way in and Rengar comes in and just destroys us. Bastard... Doesn't even fucking die. Actually, he dies, I guess, by like night. I don't even know how that happened. Timo gets dropped, but fuck. If that, he didn't gain a massive advantage for his team. Ezreal goes back in order to defend the, inhibitor, the inhibitors in the towers. But holy mother of God, it's like this game is in just impossible. They can't get Baron because half of them are dead. But uh, the Pharaoh Flare at Rengar is making it work. Before anybody says, Stonewall, you see, Faro Fire Rengar is good. You know what? I'm attributing it more to the fact that this game has lasted forever and that he got actual, some, some actual power. Here, we're trying to get Baron before the enemy team responds and collapses to us, and we're able to get it easily enough. We have the power, we have the damage, we have a spirit juggler, so we, we, like, surprisingly, we were able to grind it down before the enemy team got to respond. I'm actually going to end up selling this Abyssal Scepter because useless piece of crap is not actually helping me out. And I probably should be better off with Banshee's Veil. Oh, I have full cooldown reduction at this point because of my items and my uh, my, my masteries and runes. And a little bit of overkill. I initiate a little bit and pretty much get pelted to half my health. This is this is why it's fucking hard. It's like, doom, I blast 
uh, Kaylin and what I thought would have been a really good initiation, but it kind of just grazes her. If it was Malphite, she'd probably be dunked, but no. So, Rengar comes in, hits us all, and he pretty much gets annihilated because there was no response from his teammates. And we're able to pick off the Thresh as well. We lose Leona, and I'm the only one alive. I mean, that can be a front line. I mean, Zen Zhao's kind of a fighter for some stupid reason. He builds himself that way, despite the fact that the enemy team has a Teemo. And we'll blind him and stop his all his damage for like two seconds. Anyways, I'm afraid of hitting a one mushroom. One fucking mushroom will kill me. So I'm just like, I, I can be here to be of some use, and maybe my ultimate will be off cooldown. But no. Forced to retreat, you see? We couldn't even push to the inhibitor, because we're that afraid of fucking mushrooms. My, the rest of my team is slowly starting to realize you guys need red trinkets or else we're going to fucking die. The Ezreal and the Twisted Fate haven't just switched to red trinkets. If we use the red trinket, the mushrooms won't, won't do anything. Full on fighting gauges just spam the shit out of it, clear every mushroom and just go for it. But no, let's keep a yellow trinket. It's because they don't want to buy wars or make room for them. Anyways, we review a mushroom, but it, will, but it was only one. We know there's like Five million more uh, just it's laying around. There's Caitlyn traps. There's the Oriana ball zoning us. And there's obvious team of mushrooms. It's like, Jesus Christ, we can't get this goddamn inhibitor without hitting a million mushrooms. I throw in my ultimate before I die. And I hit another ultimate before I so when I'm trying to run away. And now I'm absolutely useless. Oriana gets three people. Leona goes in without much support. Ezra is actually being able to deal a lot of damage. But fuck it if we don't hit two more mushrooms along the way and pay for the pr pay for, uh, pay the price. I hate this game, and it's lasted almost 50 minutes so far, and my team gets wiped out because of the fucking traps and the fucking mushrooms. I hate Teemo with everything I've got. They are able to push down the inhibitor, then they're able to push down the nexus, but they don't have enough minions yet. They don't have enough damage either. It's like, the lack of minions it was going to save us. They destroy one nexus turret, then they go for the inhibitor turret. They're able to get that too. Then they're forced to run away because we're starting to spawn back. Holy crap. This is a close game. If we die one more time and you actually have a minion wave, they will fucking kill us. I buy a Banshee's Bell because fuck those mushrooms and hopefully this damn thing keeps me alive. We know Baron will be up soon. Fuck you mushrooms. I hate another one. We She hits another one. They're everywhere. Uh, we're setting up for Baron. We, we, we're gonna get this mostly to deprive them. After that, we will push mid. Hopefully having super minions at least hold off their waves. Because it's starting to get out of control. We melt Baron. The Twisted Fate goes home for some reason. We initiate on Teemo. Like, we get... Well, I, I got a shitty one. They only get a good one. We, the enemy team is pushing. We go back. Rengar tries to stop us from going back. Like he jumps in, stops Ezreal. I managed to get back. He did damage, but it didn't stop me. So Leona means and are here. I go right into the middle, pop everything. Oriana gets all of us, but we're all tanky motherfuckers, so they can't do anything. They try to run, but I actually get to use the perma slow on her. Zinzao goes in. Everything, every slow we can imagine is thrown onto her. She gets slowed down to a crawl. Ezra shows up and kills the Caitlyn. Well, I can't kill the Caitlyn. Thresh is caught off guard and he's also murdered. Fuck him. Three of them are dead. Well, Timo's dead again. Now with that, we're able just to push for the win. Not the win, exactly. We just push mercilessly. All right, it's going to be for the win, actually. We get the inhibitor. We're ignoring these goddamn mushrooms. Rengar's going to try... To fucking get to the Nexus Tyrant. I mean the inhibitor or Nexus uh, behind her backs. You'll see. Look at the map. He's trying. Twist of fate. And since I go back home to stop him. Ezra and I and the Leona are just pushing the goddamn tower. And like we are without minions in fact. We're that desperate. Rengar is killed. They have no defenders. And this game is finally over at close to a goddamn hour. Fuck this game. But hooray for Sejuani.